Hi everyone, it's Shell. Stay tuned to see how I make this awesome farmhouse window from canvases that you can get straight from the Dollar Tree. So what you need is the amount of canvases that you're going to want for your window. I'm using six. So then you can either remove the staples or just cut the canvas off, which is what I'm choosing because it's much quicker and you're not going to see the back. Now you're probably going to need to trim some spaces where the canvas might show through and that's perfectly okay. I actually had to do that in a couple spots, but taking off the canvas was so much easier by cutting. And I actually kept the canvases because I never know if I might need it for another project. And right here you can see where I had to trim it a little. All right, here I'm just lining it up the way that I want it. And I'm gonna take my E6000 and my hot glue gun and I'm gonna glue the frames together. These are light enough that you don't need to use the E6000, but I definitely don't want these to fall apart. So I'm using the E6000 for the permanent hold. And of course, some of it's squeezed out. I'm just wiping it off a little. Now that everything's together, I'm just using these little pieces of popsicle stick that I had left over from a different project and just reinforcing the back so that it doesn't bend. Just for extra support. This is where my quote unquote hoarding really comes in. <laughs> I don't throw these little scraps away because you never know why you might need them. Right, this is actually wood filler and I'm using this to go in between the cracks now I don't want it to fill completely yeah I had trouble I thought I'd cut it all the way but I didn't so I have to cut it again but the goal of me doing this was I wanted it to look aged like it had been trying to be fixed but that it had cracked I don't know if that makes any sense, but in my head it makes perfect sense.
Okay, now that that has dried, I'm just sanding all the excess away. So that when we go to paint, it'll be a nice surface to paint. All right, I'm using the Waverly Chalk Paint in plaster. I love the chalk paint. It is honestly the best paint. It dries so fast. And I'm gonna give this a rough coat. I'm not gonna cover it completely because I do want that distressed aged look. So I'm gonna go over it um, pretty haphazardly in some spots and other spots a good coverage. And you'll see how I end up doing it. Right, I'm going to start distressing it and in the mineral, elephant, and ink Waverly really chalk paints. And I'm really going to distress this. I don't know how well it comes off camera, but in person, you can really, really see the distressing. Right, I got these um, eucalyptus from Hobby Lobby. They were $6.99 a bunch, but I got them 50% off. And then I've got that willow wreath, or grapevine wreath, whichever it's called, at um, Dollar Tree, and then that little twine bundle at Dollar Tree as well. I'm just gonna hot glue them in, run around, because I like it. I added a ribbon of the um, burlap to it, and I'm going to give it to the length of the window that I wanted. And I don't know if I, you can see where I added um, that little hook. I think I missed it. And I'm just making a bow out of the burlap as well, and then I'm going to glue the bow to the ribbon, and then I'm going to 
also tie it around the ribbon as well, or loop it through. I really suck at explaining. <laughs> And here it is hanging on my wall. Now this is not the place that it's actually going to hang because I do have a second part to this as soon as I ever get it started. But I am so happy how it turned out. I just love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.